This is my homemade ironing pad. You've seen it in my previous videos, but I haven't shown you how I made it. I used a fabric from which the covers of an old sofa had been made. These old stools also have such covers. I don't know exactly what the fabric is, but it could be polyester or something synthetic. I cut three identical square pieces of the fabric and placed two of them facing down and one facing up. Then cut the fabric for the cover. You need two pieces slightly larger than the previous ones. Place them facing each other and lay the smaller ones on top. You can also use wadding for the filling. You won't have to iron it and it will be much easier to sew. Turn on the steam of the iron and press down to flatten the fabric. It won't stick to the iron but still press it over a piece of cloth. Press it very well to flatten the fabric. It must become half of its height after ironing. Move it to the machine and start sewing. I made my first ironing pad on my domestic sewing machine, but it's much easier to film on this machine and maybe you're able to see it better. Stop sewing and leave about a 10 cm hole. Cut off the excess fabric close to the seams. It should look like this. Turn it inside out as shown in the video. Now iron it again with a lot of steam. I will cut about 3 mm from the end of the filling to close the hole easily. Fold the ends inwards, secure them with sewing clips and go to the sewing machine. Now top stitch around the end. And it's done. It is very convenient when I have to iron small areas of the garment. I use the pad on the desk next to the machine and I don't have to get up from the chair 1000 times while sewing. I made a small rounded one with the leftover fabric. You may see it in one of my next videos. By the way, do you understand me? Is my English improving? Tell me what you think in the comments below.